Thank you, Andy. The Calgary Roughnecks have a huge game this weekend as they fight to get back in the playoff race. A big night for those in the building, too, as Right to Play will be featured. It's a great cause, and Captain Andrew McBride is the ambassador for Right to Play. Joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having Always me. Always great to have you. And Right to Play, as we know, they do great work, and you've been involved with them. You've been on board. So what does it mean to you to be involved with Right to Play? Fantastic organization. Really uses play to help empower kids and teach them life lessons, not only around the world in over 20 countries, but here in Canada with the Aboriginal Play Program. So just, it, it's great to see a, an organization affect so many kids and put them in a positive light. And what were your experiences like in some of your travels here? What did you see with the programs being implemented in these places? Yeah, you know what, I think the big thing is being able to actually go to these communities, teach the teach volunteers, teach the leaders, and you know, it creates life lessons. Once we leave and people leave, you're really able to see what they do for the programs, um, and it really changes kids' lives. Mm -hmm. The amount of kids, how they responded to the programs, how they became leaders, how girls became empowered, uh, it was great to see and very contagious in these communities. Yeah, and it really is that immediate. You see the results right away. Yeah, you know what, it's, you know, you can donate money, it makes a lot of time, but you can just absolutely see the impact and it has. You can see the pride mm -hmm. that they have in this, and, and you know what, to be able to see a smile on a kid's face is the most rewarding thing. Okay, and for yourself, growing up as a kid in yeah. sports what did sports do for you in your life well I think you know what it really gives you some some core values you know you learn about teamwork you learn about leadership you learn about winning and losing you know losing is something you have to learn how to deal with so I've made lifelong friends and being able to take that right to play program and put in schools in the community is something great because whenever kids get empowered on an idea mm -hmm. uh, it's very contagious they talk to their parents they talk to their teachers yeah it's almost like a harassing movement going forward so being able to share that with the communities and the schools has been awesome as yeah well. it really can give kids a sense of purpose I think and teamwork as you mentioned all those building blocks to make them good citizens and even leaders in their communities. What's happening at the game this weekend? So game, we're gonna have some Olympic athletes come down. We're gonna do a ball drop. 50-50 uh, proceeds go to Right to Play. There's a ticket code you can use where $2 goes to Right to Play. Um, the university club's gonna be there spreading the message. Gonna be lots of information, uh, PSAs, videos. So just a good way to promote something that's very passionate to myself. Okay. Excellent, and it should be good game action as well. Let's talk a little bit about where you guys are sitting and what you need to do moving forward this season. Yeah, we need to uh, get a win. I think that's the biggest <laughs> thing. We're, we're struggling a little bit now, but having some games at home is going to make a big difference. Uh, in our league, you know, it can turn around really quick. Momentum is such a huge thing, so being able to try to get things going and, and uh, put things on the right pace and get a win is going to be what we need to do. Yeah, get a win, as uh, simple as that, I guess, but I mean, you yourself have had such a great track record with the Roughnecks, so this is unusual for you. This is unusual, something we're not used to. Um, I think it's been a good learning lesson, and we really need just to stay the course. Uh, by no means are we out of the playoff race, uh, so I think if we get one win, it's going to start to build some momentum in a positive direction instead of a negative one. Okay, I like the positive outlook, yeah. and we have something for our viewers as well. If you want to go cheer on the Roughnecks, here they are right here. We have uh, four tickets to give away to the Roughnecks game, taking on the New England Black Wolves, and these are great seats as well. So all you have to do to win to see the game this Saturday is go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, to enter for the four-pack of tickets. Click on Contest, scroll down to Daily Prizing to enter. Please tell us that you're entering for the Roughnecks tickets. No purchase necessary. Full rules at breakfasttelevision.ca and you can always head on down and cheer on the Roughnecks. They are certainly fun games to check out. So hoping for a win. Uh, great to see you as always, Andrew. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, still